All right, so I'm gonna talk today about lesson picks and how you can create resources for individuals with low vision and cortical visual impairment. Now we have a whole article in here, in our articles and tutorials section on high contrast visuals. We have a fabulous video that was created with uh, three amazing educators uh, from the Maryland School for the Blind. But what I really wanna take you in and show you guys is the existing resources that we have. I'm gonna start off with our clip art. So in our clip art folders, we have our core vocabulary folder. And if you dig a little bit inside of there, you are going to see two folders that have already created high contrast images. Our high contrast core vocabulary, which is a smaller subset of our much larger core vocabulary folder. These images were specifically designed with input from teachers of the visually impaired to support individuals with low vision. So they have fewer colors, they have brighter high contrast colors. Um, there are fewer lines, that was one of the important lessons that we learned, was that it's not just the colors, but it's the complexity of the images. Um, and all of these images are available with both a transparent background and with a black background. And in the black background images, it is easy to see how they um, have that high contrast and not only have a thicker black outline, but have that nice thick white outline to help them pop out. So folks, as you're coming into the exhibit hall, if you want to check out how Lesson Picks has resources to support low vision and cortical visual impairment, come on over to the Product Demonstration Center and join Scout and me and another friend in the way back. Hey there. Um, all right, I'm going to go back into our uh, clip art, or that core vocabulary folder, and then we have some additional high contrast vocabulary. These are nouns. They're in the core vocabulary because they really are some of those common nouns that we know uh, individuals might be needing for uh, resources that they're creating. But if you were stuck with just these high contrast images, it would be pretty limiting. So the really exciting thing with lesson picks is that any image in our image library can be made into a high contrast image. So I'm just gonna go back into our clip art and I think I'm gonna find an animal. And we are in Florida, so I'll head for our oceans and lakes. Come and sit down, enjoy. Um, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and check out um, as much as it pains me to say this as a UGA, University of Georgia um, mom who spent a lot of tuition there, I'm gonna take a look at the gator because we are in Florida. So we'll check out our Florida gator here and let's tell you how we can customize this image so that it is a high contrast Florida gator. So all you do in any of our images, let's go hit my back button for just a second, all I have to do for any of these images is click on that image and it is gonna take us in to our recolor and customize tool. Now there's a lot of things that you can do in this recolor and customize tool. I could make this an orange gator or a purple gator or a green gator, but we're gonna go ahead and keep him a, um, a green, he is a green gator, we can make him a blue gator. Um, but we're gonna keep him a green gator, sort of. All right, I'm gonna click on this recolor and customize button and it's gonna take us in where we have a few different options, but I want this easy, right? I just wanna click up a couple of buttons in order to make this a high contrast image. So I'm simply gonna go where it says high contrast filters and click add filters. It is gonna reduce the number of colors, it is gonna brighten that symbol while it's gonna add outlines. And now I have a bright green gator. Uh, it's gonna si simplify that images a little bit. It put that great big black thicker outline on it and difficult to see with the um, transparent background there, but it added a thicker white outline. Now your teacher, you might be the teacher of visually impaired, you might be the assistive technology support who is working collaboratively with the teacher of the visually impaired, and they might have told you that that student really benefits from having things with a blue background, or a black background, or a red background, whatever it might be. I can simply go to where this background color is, uncheck none, and then choose what color I want. So let's say I am going with that blue as it, clicking that update, and as easy as that, now I have that blue background with the thick white outline and the increased contrast for that image. I can simply click Save Custom Image, 
And it is forever gonna be a part of my custom library. I can use it in any of the resources that I create, um, and it's always gonna look like that. Not only is it gonna be, you can see where it is, right? Like we got it from the oceans and lakes folder, but it's also gonna be in the jungle folder. So now if I look in jungles, there's my high contrast image. If I searched now, let's go under alligator. I mean, let's go under images and search and we'll test my ability for my keyboard to work right now, which we're gonna turn it on and we're gonna turn it off. This keyboard's been giving me trouble all day long. There we go, and I can type in alligator and when I click go, so it's doing an image search right now, it's always gonna come up with all the rest of the images that we have um, because we've got our uh, uh, sign language image for gator, alligator, we've got um, crocodile in case that's what you were really looking for but you put an alligator, but I'm always gonna have my high contrast image. And I have this available for me to be able to use any way. It's not gonna override the original alligator image there. It's gonna be there whenever I log in, whatever materials that I create that I need to use that with. Um, so, so easy in addition, and so I know some folks just walked in. So let me just do a quick review, a recap, and then I'm gonna show you some more images. In our clip art folder, in our core vocabulary folder, we have two folders specific to high contrast. High contrast core, and there's just high contrast vocabulary that's primarily nouns. So we have images that were very specifically designed um, for individuals with cortical visual impairment and TV, uh, CVI. They were designed by TVIs, teachers of the visually impaired, with less complexity to those images, brighter colors, um, and a thick outline available both in a transparent background and in a black background. And maybe that is the perfect image that I need for um, different, right? Let's just go with that one. Um, I can click on that image, right? It's already set to be high contrast, but I can go into that recolor and customize because my student doesn't need a blue, uh, doesn't need a black background, which is the standard. I can simply update that with perhaps they really benefit from a red background and I can click update. And again, I have that saved as a custom symbol. It's gonna be back in my high contrast core folder along with the images that I already had. So I've always got that available to me to be able to use for those high contrast. Now let's go ahead and take a look at, you know. We don't always have the time to make everything for our students. Like, wouldn't it be wonderful? And you could go in and create a whole library of all the vocabulary that you needed, high contrast, but why replicate what somebody else has done? So I'm gonna go into our sharing center, and I am going to search for high contrast. Well, there we go, high contrast. Let's see if I can make my mouth, I mean my keyboard work. So I'm simply gonna search for high contrast. And anything that anyone has created, um, with that in written its description or anything, you're gonna find those images. So it may be, we've got a high contrast uh, 12 core board. This, by the way, is a free download. You do not have to be a LessonPix subscriber in order to download this. If, if you just went to LessonPix.com, um, went to our sharing center tab and searched for high contrast, you would find this here and you'd be able to download that even if you're not a LessonPix subscriber. You'd also be able to download our high um, our common objects, high contrast, bingo. You would be able to download our really fun uh, D book. I'm just gonna take us into it for a second. I've already um, downloaded this particular free sample. Come join us, we're talking about high contrast. She's like, no, friend, rescue me from this lady. No, it's all good, it's all good. Um, and I can go ahead and simply, I'm gonna clear what's in my tray. I'm gonna go ahead, and I've already downloaded this. I downloaded it as a PowerPoint. All Lesson Picks resources can be downloaded either as PDFs or as PowerPoints. PowerPoints, of course, can be uploaded into uh, Google Slides so that you can utilize it um, regardless of the system that you might be using. And now I have a great high contrast book with the letter D. Oh, and by the way, did I mention that we have all of the Braille alphabet available? Um, now, you can easily um, texturize this so you might be teaching so a student um, who is blind to use Braille. You also might be wanting to provide supports for educators and other people, uh, family members, um, siblings who are 
uh, we want them to be able to read that Braille as well. So let me make sure I go in and take you in. We'll take a quick tour of this, but right, we've got our high contrast donut. If you notice, I've got um, some lines there, so I could be doing some writing along with this um, if I wanted to, either low-tech or high-tech systems. We've got our dolphin. D is for dolphin. D is for dance, right? You know, like, let's do our John Travolta there. Um, but I'm going to minimize that for a minute. Um, before I go in and show you the Braille, let me just show you, maybe you love this activity, but you, uh, you want something just a little bit different. Um, so I'm simply going to, but you don't want to have to recreate the wheel. This is in, um, if you are a Lesson Picks member, $36 for a one-year subscription. Um, all you have to do is click load all. It's going to put all of those images in your tray. Now, maybe I am not working on Braille with this. Uh, individual. I just want um, a nice matching kind of activity with the letter and that vocabulary. So I'm just going to get rid of all of those Braille Ds in there. One more. I'm going to select Create Materials. This takes us into our Creation Wizard. I am going to go all the way to our Puzzle Cards. I'm actually going to just type in Puzzle P U. There we go. I'm going to go to our Puzzle Cards and I'm going to select that. I'm going to click I'm going to zero out that one because I don't need that one card. There we go. I don't need any of those. I'm going to click Next. These are going to be my puzzle cards. I would title it. I'm not going to for the sake right now. And I'm going to click Finish. And now I have a puzzle activity that I can download. I can mount it, like double mount it, so I've got a little bit more texture for it because our low vision kids need... Um, three-dimensional resources, and I've got puzzle cards that they can work on matching. So we've got D and dog and high contrast. So lots of ways that I can quickly and easily make resources for individuals with low vision. I'm going to show you guys one more thing, and then we are going to wrap up. And I'm going to go in. I just want to go back into our clip art and show you where those Braille letters are. So in our alphabet folder... I can go right in, and we have all the Braille letters and numbers. And not only do we have them, but we have them featured a few different ways so that you can see, let's scroll down to the letters, so that you can see them with uh, the numbers associated with it, right? So we know that A, it's in that first position, without the number there, but with the letter there, and then just with the Braille dot. So just one more way that you can make our resources um, more applicable to your individuals with low vision. Now, I want to reward Scout and my friend back here for sticking it out with me. So you're going to take, like, make sure you get whatever's there, but um, um, be kind. You, be kind. What size, what size, like, are you, what size shirt would you want? Like, I have a couple of these to give away. Scout, you can wear, you can rock the pink or you might have somebody else that can rock the pink. Okay, what size for you? Um, I, I've got a large. They run a little small, so I don't have any mediums left. I took the last medium this morning. Um, yeah, it's a large in women's. And it's dry fit, and it's super soft and awesomely comfortable. So you are so welcome. And Scout, I think I have another large, but I also have a double XL and an XL. I, you're going to get the smallest one. Yes, so we absolutely do. So in our tutorials, and I, gave, I just gave her that one, but how about I give you the extra large, and you can come find me tomorrow at the booth, and I can switch it out for, um, I can even switch it out for like a blue shirt. Oh, I for, about blue, but I'll, yeah, yes, it's, okay. It's not a large, it's not okay, so... No. All right, I'm going to give you that. Y'all can fight over it on your own. But see what happens when you come to a Lesson Picks product demonstration? You get swag. So, yes. So, in our articles section, let me just go back. It's on the website. If you go to articles, or actually if you go to tutorials, either one, you'll get to it. But if you scroll down, there's all of our information on our high contrast. We actually have a whole... Um, we, we actually have a whole video, that, an interview we did with three teachers, uh, actually an occupational therapist, a speech language pathologist, um, and, a, and a teacher of the visually impaired, but they all work at Maryland School for the Blind, um, where we talk about, and they have all sorts of fabulous ideas, because they actually, it looks good on you, it's perfect. 
and um, and there's a video on how to use the um, the high contrast image generator. It's step by step directions and lots of ready made activities that you can just go in and download. Awesome. I, and I love your shirt, by the way, with the braille dots on it. So thank you guys for spending a little bit of your time with me. I love it.